डूज एंड डोंट्स ऑफ फंगल इन्फेक्शन वॉट आर द लिस्ट ऑफ फूड्स पेशेंट्स मस्ट कंज्यूम पेशेंट्स मस्ट अवॉइड दैट हेल्प दैम रिकवर फास्टर फ्रॉम फंगल इन्फेक्शन पेशेंट मे जस्ट बी नोइंग दैट बाई अप्लाइंग स्टेरॉयड क्रीम टेकिंग स्टेरॉयड टैबलेट्स आई बी फाइन बट दिस डज नॉट हैपन इट गेट सप्रेस्ड इन साइड द स्किन द डिजीज कम्स बैक अगेन देर इज अ रियकरिंग सीन इन मैक्सिमम केसेज यू कैन ऑल्सो से इन ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द केसेज मैक्सिमम केसेज रीअकरेंस इज सीन and that's where ayurved steps in cures the disease right from the root cause why and how ayurved cures the skin disease so successfully what is the principle we have a detailed video on this the link to that video is in the description box after you watch this video you can watch that video as well but your diet plays a very important role if the patient is unaware about what foods he must take what foods he must avoid the infection that is supposed to be completely cured in 3 months time takes about 3 and a half to 4 months time the disease is cured from the root cause the suppressed infection comes out it is cured but if the patient is unaware the weeks go on extending so this video is going to make sure that you have a clear idea about why do the foods or what are the foods and why are these foods aggravating the fungus and not curing them why is clear the how becomes easy so we'll understand which are these foods and why we must avoid it so this is our today's topic let us begin namaste everyone welcome back to jovis fungal infection patient experiences itching wherever there is more itching it takes us towards the kapha prakop more of kapha dosh in the body whenever there is aggravation in kapha itching is present it is beautifully said as kapha nasti kandu shot nasti is without kandu is the itching and shot is a swelling there is no itching no swelling without the aggravation of kapha dosh kapha is a root cause you can say this so kapha is the root cause we have to balance this kapha dosh and how would we do that let us understand there are six tastes explained in ayurveda it is madhur amla lavan katu tikt kashay sweet sour salty bitter pungent astringent and out of these the first three sweet sour and salty foods this is increasing the kapha dosh in the body so one must make sure sweets completely avoid sar reduce the intake salt instead of salt replace it with sendha namak and consume it as less as possible identify the foods that aggravate your infection that increases the itching you will see it is curd it is pickles because curd is extremely ushna dikshna you can call it as an enemy for fungal infection or skin infection so hot foods or all the foods that are ushna dikshna sharp or have a lot of salt avoid it one must make sure they avoid the red chili or hot foods like again there is spices all the garam masala excess of lavang pimply shont uh, which is ginger again all these one must avoid it instead consume cool foods there is haldi green elaichi there is dhania sof or one can use ratan jodh instead of the garam masala or the spices it is traditionally used to give color to the foods then further you know the enemies again talking about the enemies it is brinjal it is a uh, lady finger it is sabunana fermented food packaged food fried items you will experience this is having sour or salty foods a lot of salt intake and also the bakery items sweets chocolates it is obvious avoid it till the time you are completely cured this is the causative factor what is the solution is tikt rasatmak ahar which is the bitter foods bitter herbs why ayurveda is able to cure skin diseases because it is having all the herbs or all the medicines in bitter taste which are given to skin infection more the bitterness more is the faster cure for skin diseases you can say that so bitter foods bottle gourd karela you can consume it it is having good results and all the tikt the kashay rasatmak also would be fine all the foods that are astringent and bitter in taste consume karela it is helpful we have patients you know where 95% of body psoriasis fungal infection entire leg is filled with skin infection and they have recovered in a period of 25 days 3 months 16 days 25 days why because of the concepts because of the diet because of the lifestyle which we are going to understand in this video we tell such patients to consume leaves of neem 10 to 15 early morning wash the fresh leaves and chew it now what happens is when you are chewing the food it mixes in your saliva it is directly has an action in the blood 
why people who you know smoke or who have addictions of tobacco or misery why because they apply they rub the misery and the properties of the misery it is directly going into the blood and that's why these people suffer from blood related disorders why this is the reason when you are chewing any food or bitter herb food medicine why certain powders are given in ayurveda because the treatment starts from or the result the action starts from the mouth from the saliva once we take the once we have that taste the bitter taste the action is starting the medicine the properties are going into the blood and it is having the action so we have again spoken in our varicosity you know varicose veins video as well about this concept how it is acting we told about gandush putting oil in mouth why it is giving results in varicose vein we spoken about that so here also neem leaves patient has to chew for around 2 to 3 minutes and then consume it if not again patient who suffers definitely follows but if not possible make a kada 8 to 12 leaves of neem two cups water boil it make it up strain the liquid consume the liquid once or twice a day one can take it thrice a day as well early morning we tell the patient to consume fresh wheat grass juice half cup or one cup of fresh wheat grass juice extremely beneficial in any time one cup or by 6 or 7 pm any time empty stomach we tell the patient to take fresh celery juice extremely pitta shamak and fixes rakta dushti purifies the blood celery juice extremely beneficial again we spoken about many herbs one can you know make a neem kada neem decoction or khadir kada and use this as a bathing water for bathing purpose they can use this many patients are following extremely amazing results they can use it as a dusting powder khadir neem and haldi use it as a dusting powder mix it in a base gel or a base cream mix it well apply it extreme i'm giving all the formulation so you get the best results although there are various formulations available in the market but all those formulations it is different from you know person to person every person is different and ayurveda sees every person differently and treats it that's why results are great so such kinds of uh, medicines are used bitter herbs bitter foods are extremely extremely beneficial talking about certain precautions you have to follow it you have to maintain hygiene otherwise it can spread to one part to another part and the entire family can suffer from fungal infection in our opds joint family 10 10 members 12 members i have had in one opd everyone is having fungal infection started from one part other parts all so we have to remember the precautions whenever you are washing your clothes make sure they are washed separately your toothbrushes combs everything separately if you are drying your clothes under fan make sure you iron them and wear it if you are not then make sure you dry it under the sun then iron it and wear it that's advisable don't wear very tight clothes or jeans avoid it wear woolen clothes the irritation the itching comes down very very helpful again food items i have spoken hygiene precautions very very important again moisture maintain hygiene in your house in the room that you are living and again sun exposure is important early morning vitamin d is very very important for skin infections be it psoriasis or fungal infection it's very very important and if you are having itching if you want to scratch firstly you shouldn't but sometimes it's unbearable if you want to scratch make sure you scratch but then first wash your hands with a uh, soap why because if you don't if you touch other parts if you touch your face high chance the infection will spread so make sure you don't do that wash your hands and maintain hygiene keep all your utensils all your uh, toothbrushes combs everything separately wash your clothes separately this is it again for lunch and dinner before you start your lunch before you start your dinner take salads there is carrots cucumber consume a lot of salads then take your lunch and dinner it is helping in reducing the blood sugar level and again patients who have high blood sugar are more prone to fungal infection so make sure salads before starting your lunch salads before starting your dinner this is how ayurveda looks at skin infection it you know removes the aggravated doshas out from the body through the panchakarma and balances the doshas through the ayurvedic medications doshas should be eliminated doshas should be balanced and results are seen dosh evam hi sarvesha vyadinam ekakarnam all the diseases are caused because of the vitiation of doshas doshas are responsible as we discussed kapha dosh why sweets are salty foods external factors and it should not be spread so 
maintain hygiene this was all for today consult an authentic ayurvedic doctor if you are looking for a result oriented treatment stick to the treatment follow the diet follow the precautions and you will be absolutely fine if you are having any doubts or questions let us know in the comment section below do like share subscribe you know everything and i'll see you in the next episode until next time from jovis and the team look impressive be progressive